From the outside, the Israeli Carmel fighting vehicle may look like a conventional tank, but upon stepping into its cabin, reality veers close to fiction. Under pitch black darkness, the vehicle's interior looks more like a gaming setup than a conventional tank. There are no wheels, pedals, or buttons, but instead, an Xbox game controller that is used to drive, shoot, and reload. Furthermore, an array of monitors, panels, and tablets used by the two-man crew are directly inspired by the heads-up displays of popular video games. But make no mistake, this tank is armed with state-of-the-art weaponry and armor to take down any enemy in its path. A new type of vehicle. Operation Protective Eagle, or Strong Cliff, was a 2014 military operation launched by the Israeli Defense Force to secure the Gaza Strip. During the operation, the Israeli soldiers fought in narrow streets, making it difficult for tanks and other armored vehicles to properly maneuver and identify hostile targets. This made the IDF realize that it required a new light vehicle that could not just be easier to manipulate, but also help soldiers spot and neutralize enemies around corners and rooftops. By 2016, the Israeli army launched an ambitious program to develop a new tank model for the armed forces. However, the objectives were quickly widened when the defense ministry ruled that the new vehicle had to use the latest artificial intelligence technology to bolster its capabilities to the limit. This resulted in the Carmel Project, a Hebrew acronym for Advanced Ground Combat Vehicle. This state-of-the-art next-generation vehicle has put Israel closer to achieving its long-term objective of fielding a full-fledged robot army that would reduce the use of soldiers. The Carmel is an innovative 35-ton tracked vehicle manned by a crew of just two men. It may look like a conventional medium tank from the outside, but it is much more than that. It includes modular, transparent armor, active cooperative protection, and a hybrid engine, and uses sophisticated artificial intelligence that can target and find enemies, notify the crew of imminent dangers, inform them of ammunition count, and other groundbreaking features. But most noteworthy, the Carmel is controlled by a Microsoft Xbox video game controller. For Gamers by Gamers The Carmel has a rectangular, box-shaped look, is covered by thick layers of steel, features tank treads, and has a turret. The Carmel is entirely windowless, and has peculiar sensors and cameras placed around it. However, it all makes sense upon entering the tank from the back hatch. Inside, everything is pitch dark, except for a series of monitors, panels, and other electronic devices located at the front, sides, and rear of the two crewmen seats. A large panoramic screen allows the men to fully see their surroundings, thanks to the sensors and cameras that give it full visibility across a 360-degree spectrum. Additionally, a tactical drone that enhances the view from even larger distances can bolster Carmel's active awareness. These drones can help the crew gather intelligence from enemy positions and elaborate better engagement tactics in a battle scenario. Still, seasoned tank drivers might be surprised by the absence of a steering wheel, pedals, levers, and other standard driving features. The reason is simple. Both the driving and the firing are controlled directly through the Xbox controller. Following the user-friendly tradition of the Israeli military, the officers behind the Carmel turned their full attention toward the future conscripts. When designing the vehicle, Israeli engineers were tasked with drawing inspiration from what currently attracts younger generations, as men and women between 18 and 21 form the core of Israel's obligatory military service. As expected, Volunteers in this age range feel instantly familiar with Carmel's features. Attracting Conscripts To develop the Carmel's user interface, the engineers resorted to teenage gamers and military personnel familiar with video games. They then meticulously analyzed the heads-up displays, or HUDs, of popular video games such as Call of Duty, Battlefield, and even Fortnite. From the icons, to display information and layouts, everything is inspired by popular video games. 
like these games, the Carmel's user interface is very straightforward and shows the necessary information to stay focused during combat operations. Meanwhile, the artificial intelligence technology that forms part of the Carmel's core was also inspired by video games, with Israeli designers borrowing the algorithm from the popular Unity game engine. This allows the Carmel's operators to easily swap between different weapon systems and types of ammunition, and then shoot in real life. Colonel Udi Zur, battalion commander of the 7th Armored Brigade, had said that the familiarity with video games has drastically sped up the learning process of new recruits. During an interview with the Washington Post, he said, quote, I don't want to say it took them four minutes, but maximum it took them four hours. They are far more willing to experiment. They are much less afraid of technology. It comes to them naturally. It's not exactly like playing Fortnite, but something like that. And amazingly, they bring their skills to operational effectiveness in no time. I'll tell you the truth, I didn't think it could be reached so quickly. Athena It is expected that the AI that powers the Carmel will revolutionize the autonomous capabilities of ground vehicles, just like it happened with aircraft before. At some point, the Carmel will not even require a human to drive it, thanks to the Athena system employed by the Israeli military. The technology is able to locate the enemy, analyze the weaponry it is using, and provide different lines of sight and possible attack routes. Athena and the valuable data it provides will help the operators take the most adequate course of action during combat, while also suggesting to the drivers which weapons are better suited for distinct combat scenarios. With this enhanced bigger picture, the Carmel might become the ultimate weapon for urban warfare, thanks to its sophisticated external sensors that constantly analyze the environment to provide the best information and course of action. Video Game Controversy Despite its many innovations, the Carmel is not the first military project that has used video game mechanics to attract young recruits. During the 1990s, the U.S. Army made a video game that put the recruits in the control of a Bradley infantry fighting vehicle to familiarize them with the controls and capabilities of this new war asset. The Marine Corps also did the same with a modified version of the popular first-person shooter game Doom to prepare young Marines for ambiences in which the enemy blended with a civilian populace in the Middle East. Then, in 2018, the Navy's USS Colorado submarine went into service with a modified Xbox controller to handle its periscope. Such practices have sparked controversy in the US and several other countries. Many believe that this type of project blurs the line between what is authentic combat and fictionalized scenarios. Because of this, the Israeli engineers behind the Carmel opted to get rid of a virtual reality system with goggles that could leave the operator isolated from reality. Instead, the electronic interface, the multiple monitors and cameras ensure that the operators share a sense of reality through direct coordination with other military personnel. Still, Moshe Friedman, a young Israeli soldier, said, quote, It's not at home, eating and drinking and having fun. This is work. There's also the way Carmel moves, the noise it makes. It's very different from a video game. For the time being, the Israeli military plans to continue testing and improving the Carmel with feedback provided by young gamers and army engineers. And in March of 2022, the Israeli ministry chose Israeli aerospace industries as the prime contractor to continue developing the Carmel fighting vehicle. The next phase includes the development, integration, and demonstration of technologies for a multi-dimensional combat team. Thank you for watching our video. Please like and subscribe to our Dark Documentaries channels to find more exciting historical content. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified of our newest videos. Also, let us know what you think of this new type of fighting vehicle, operated by multiple electronic panels and an Xbox gaming controller, in the comment section below. And stay tuned for more.